Hey people, how you doing? Uh, I am Questlove, director of the Summer Soul film, and it's a documentary about an epic music festival that happened in Harlem that celebrated black history. Follow me as I highlight some of these important moments that impacted me on Google, art, and culture. People often ask me, why do I feel as though this story was easy to bury and kind of just discard in the trash like it was yesterday's news? And, you know, my hunch is that the prime purpose and goal of the Harlem Cultural Festival wasn't really to make history or be historical. The primary purpose for this concert to be organized, it was to save property and keep Harlem from going up in flames once again. 1968, we had erupted all over America. There was civil unrest and riots everywhere because of the assassination of Martin Luther King. The front of the line concern was throwing an event that would alleviate the pain and that was kind of achieved. There wasn't any civil unrest or any rioting in 1969. So it's almost like, okay, well, we're done. So let's move on. Nina Simone was an important factor to the Summer of Soul film because, you know, she's always been one of those artists that kind of put her truth way before she would put her survival. And that's the thing, you know, oftentimes there are artists that feel as though they have things to lose. You know, hats off to the artists that put their art first before their, their monetary position. And she was one of those people. We caught Stevie Wonder at a period of his life in which his world was completely about to just crack open. So we see the seeds of that genius in this performance. What's happening to him, of course, is the ripple effect of what the Beatles pull off in 1967 with Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band album. Suddenly, Stevie's scope of what's possible with creativity is open. And there's also a very interesting moment where Stevie Wonder jokes with his musical director, Gene Key, about the moon landing. And as I'm doing this film, I didn't realize how heavy the disdain for the moon landing was for Black Americans at the time. Black people were definitely like, no, like you still have work to do here on Earth. Like, why are you going to the moon when there's still work that needs to be done for our, you know, poverty purposes? The goal with Summer of Soul was also to show how important Harlem was. For me, I've really wanted to truly show Harlem at its fullest capacity, at its best potential. I mean, Harlem was, it was the black capital of the United States in that time period. That's where culture was. That's where, you know, there was, there was a diverse, well-to-do community up there. And it was, it was home to a lot of people. In doing this film, you know, it was not lost on us that the exact situations that were happening in 1969 were also occurring 50 years later in 2019, 2020. It's almost like I hope this film serves as a, a, a warning to let people know that, you know, history can be repeated if we're not careful. 